Hello, everybody. Today we're gonna see how I draw a Hank Pym yellow jacket from Marvel's What If series. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. For those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Just <laughs> Did you hear the way I said that? <laughs> Let's get everything out. <laughs> you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, what can you laugh at, right? Okay, so what if? I'm loving this show. It's really, really good. Uh, the, the tough part about this is there is no picture of his feet. Um, I, I go through and I get screen grabs to try to, you know, uh, this early, this fast, like because it, it was just aired, there's no uh, um, concept pictures or things like that. You know, it's just basically whatever I can find on the internet. I'm sorry, it's whatever I can get from the show. I can't find anything on the internet. Um, so a lot of times, like this, I have to just um, see what I can get for a screen grabs, and there are no pictures of his feet. So. Oh, <laughs> I'm kind of making it up. Um, so, you know, bear with me. You know, you know my, my, my catchphrase, bear with me. I just need to put a bear up whenever I say that's a big picture right here. Bear. No, I don't have time to do that. We got drawings to do. I don't have time to make funny videos with the funny reaction faces and the the, you know the stuff everybody likes I don't have time to do stuff everybody likes I only have time to draw how I draw <laughs> isn't that selfish but but I mean but in all honesty though that's why I'm here I'm drawing what I like right I mean I, I chose I chose to you know be selfish about this video that I'm only drawing what I want to draw well you know what everybody's requesting, that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, I, I, I have no, no, uh, guilt about drawing what I want to see because, again, that's what I said. This is how I draw. So, and I will say this too, I really love that they still incorporated his Old, old design? Original design. For um, a uh, yellow jacket. And what I mean by that is is the, the comic book version of the yellow jacket. Like, you know, when he went into... Was it, was it like a, um, Ultron? I think is when he battled with him. Or not battled, but joined forces and that kind of bad... Bad Pym kind of thing. But anyway, uh, a long time ago there was a a yellow jacket Hank Pym. But I'm talking a long time ago. I'm probably like you know the 60s, things like that. Maybe the 70s, back before you know it was like canon type thing, where it was just like, hey, let's just make comics. Let's just come up with crazy stuff, you know. Um, there was an old one where Hank Pym. Uh, was uh, I guess bad you know and anyway that's what the old yellow jacket uh, and I think that's kind of what the idea was with the the I don't know I'm guessing when I say this I was trying to say that I'm guessing that was the idea for the yellow jacket from Ant-Man you know that kind of look but I don't know I have no idea that's just me guessing at stuff second while I try to get this right. He 
because what I'm going to try to do, depends on how fast I can go, what I'm going to try to do is do the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, the wings, I guess, what would these be? No, not wings. That wouldn't be wings. That would be, I guess, I guess technically they are, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, hornet or yellow jacket legs is what they are, right? Technically that's what they would be. Gotta sketch them out real fast. And I would love to pay a lot of attention to put a lot of attention into the details of them, but I just don't know how much time we have. Um, I think that's gonna that's gonna be good right there. That's a nice quick sketch. That should give me enough time to add the extra details that I want to add. So I say we get going. Let me let me erase some of these sketch lines real fast. And uh, where's my eraser? There it is. And then we can build off this because what I usually do is I'm just throwing lines down. I'm trying to go for position, placement, and proportions. Throwing lines down and, and as I get more confident with each one of those, I start pressing harder. So when I lightly erase them like this, I'm erasing the sketch lines, but the confidence lines I was pressing harder with takes more pressure. I'm not quite applying enough pressure to erase. So what we're doing is we're following this, the confidence line, getting rid of the sketch lines. And that's how you live your life. Get rid of your sketchiness, follow your confidence, you'll do amazing things. So I am ready, I'm loving this show, I'm excited about these characters. So I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more Marvel stuff, check out that playlist right there, or just check out the playlist in general. Do a search, see what you're looking for, and or see if what you're looking for is in a video I've done before, because I've done tons of videos. I may have already done it. If not, give me a shout. I'll see what I can do. I'm going to jump right in with the head facing right at you. And I'm going to draw his eyes. I need to I need to capture those first. So I'm going to draw the top of the lids like this. Good. I just want to make sure I got him level. It is a little bit turned more than I, I expected, but I'm going to still follow my sketch and just draw the retina like that. It's the color part of the eye. And I'm going to try to dab a pupil in, but it's so tiny at this point, it, I really can't. So I'm just going to kind of dab the center and then come come back and just draw the bottom of the eye. I'm going to imply the bottom of the eye like that by coming back. It's so tiny that I can't uh, draw the underside. It'll bleed. You can. You're welcome to draw that line, but mine's going to bleed if I do. So I'm just going to leave it like that. But again, that's not the most important part of this drawing anyway. So. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that for the eye. Now I'm gonna start to build a couple different layers for his mask, right? So there's first, this one, and this is a black layer. So I'm gonna try to do another one outside of this, all right? But again, see how it's, it's just super tiny. So there's only so much I'm gonna be able to fit in here. So see how some of it falls in? That's okay, I'm fine with that. How some of it touches that black layer I was talking about? That's okay. 
because also I have to forgive that there's only so many lines I can get in here because it's going to start to bleed at that size. Okay, so there's his eyes. Now, I do have his, his hornet edges kind of falling in front of his shoulders, so maybe I should do those first to give myself uh, where the where the edges are, or I'll just draw them out. I'll just draw them out because I want to draw the whole head. I want to do as much as I can for this mask. It's pretty cool. So it's going to come across like this. I just love drawing the Ant-Man mask is what it really is. And try to do the same thing over here. So I went a little higher over here. Let me try to fix that. And uh, I need to try to build off of the style of, of the front. So let me see, I'm gonna come up here like this. And then this one's gonna go back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw it. bit from this side just because I want it kind of raised just a little bit you know Okay, so let's see, and it's got like these ears. Let's see if I can draw those. Let's see, of course it is all connected, so you know, I'm gonna draw those parts, but let me, let me build off the, the nose and the mouth, right? Or the, I guess the breather, it's not really a mouth. It's where his mouth would be, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and now again, there's a lot of detail here, so I don't know how much I can get in. See, that, that's too big, way too big. But, I can work with that. So yeah, so something like this, and even still, this isn't perfect, you know? This is just me just kind of playing around with, this is what I would like to do. Because it is almost too much, too much detail for what we're doing today. But I wanna have some fun. That's also the nice part about um, um, using the Sharpie because I'm, I'm, I can control the line widths as opposed to that, that big boy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and take advantage of the fact that I can uh, draw some, some extra detail, you know? See, that should have been higher. That one was a little higher, so let me go just do this. because I need to thicken up my lines anyway, only because, for me, because when I switch over to that Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So I like to try to thicken up my lines anyway, just to try to match where it's gonna go. You don't have to, especially if you're working with pencil, that might look a little strange anyway. So uh, don't feel guilty if you don't, I'm just explaining to you why I am. And let's see. Oh, but you know what? I also need to, I forgot, I gotta finish up the, the face here. So it's kind of coming down like that, right? Oh, this one comes a little closer. Like that. Because I want some, some space right in there. Uh, okay, I think that's pretty good for the helmet. I'm gonna move on 
to um, the rest of the body. And so I'm switching over to the big Sharpie here. Um, I'll worry about that with the color and all that stuff later. So I was talking about this in the sketch. There are no good pictures of his uh, feet. So, you know, bear with me. So I'm gonna do his, his, his uh, stomach, stomach, his neck <laughs> into his body like this. And so now, I'm gonna kind of make up something for his his uh, costume here. So I'm gonna attach it right here, attach it right here, and then build up from here because this is where the like extra things coming off them are gonna be. The you know the little armor pieces because it's not it's I don't know what you would call it really. It's part of the original design. like that um, I just wanted it kind of up you know and then it's gonna go around his shoulders like this I'm gonna do this one. I do, do have his body turned just slightly so this one's gonna come over this way and I did it like that because there's a, there's a, a co couple of cool little patterns on there that I just I just wanted to kind of accent, you know. There aren't a lot of bumps in the costume, but I was just kind of accenting that there are these little things. That's all I can really get out of it because, um, I'm just trying to grab what I can from what I can see. Cool. Okay, and so the rest of his costume is just kind of, we're just gonna build off of this. So, let's see. Um, so his shoulders, as connected to his shoulders, are gonna have like shoulder pad type things like this. And this one, um, it's gonna come down like that. And then we're gonna go into a point. And I should probably do the other part with uh, the Sharpie, the fine point Sharpie. Okay, so there's his shoulder. Let me give you a little something because um, the other downside is there's not a lot of uh, detail on the costume here. For for animations, it's very it's it's much easier. Uh, your life is much better as if you can make um, uh, less less uh, lines to draw. That you have to animate so they go very simple but it's very cool all right okay so his arms he's just holding them up like this no big deal so let's draw this one coming through like this i'm going to bend the material up like that this shoulder is right here arm is bent right there and then his uh, forearm, for armor, something like this. But this one's pointed at you more than than the other arm, so it's going to be a little more foreshortened. Okay. Whereas this one, let's go ahead and draw it out. See, so well, no, let's draw the hand. It's going to be in a fist. Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. Let's go ahead and just draw the fist. So the thumb's coming around. that let me add some detail I know I kind of skipped some lines but uh, it's hard to do a lot of detail with this sharpie so a lot of times I'll just come in and and fix the uh, the smaller lines that I wanted to add with the big sharpie so I with the small sharpie Uh, let me get some some wrinkles on here. Uh, 
you know what I can try to do? Let's see. There are some cool patterns in the costume. It's hard to see. Okay, I think I see them now. But it's, it's, uh, it's kind of tricky. Let's see, this one's coming down here like this. Something like that, just to add the pattern in the costume. That's really cool, you know? Okay, let's do the other arm since we're here, and you can see how this one's down, this one's kind of more up uh, in, in a fighting stance. Okay, so shoulder, uh, down to the forearmer, like that. Like this, and then uh, armor piece. That and then the hand. Again, I'm just gonna have him a fist. Since he was such a, uh, a fighting man, I'm just giving him fists. All right, let's add some detail. See, I'm already starting to go with the small Sharpie. I need to uh, uh, stop that and, and deal with Sharpie. Or with the fine sh point Sharpie. Trying to get some of the detail. There we go. Cool. I like that. Uh, again, let me try to do some of this little detail I did over here. but I'm very happy with the drawing. How's that? Okay, so um, the rest of the costume is gonna be pretty easy, then we'll do the mandibles, right? And that was, no, not mandibles, those are teeth. The uh, appendage, what are they called on a bug? Um, they're not mandibles, they're not appendages, they are, uh, what are they called? I don't know, but uh, let me also draw his belt real fast. I can build off that. I want to say mandibles, but they're not mandibles there. Somebody correct me. What are they there? But it's something, a word like that. Some, a word like mandible. And now I want to say edible. It's not, it's not, you can't eat them. <laughs> it's, uh, oh gosh, oh gosh. What is that word? But uh, basically that. The legs of an insect. Whatever that is. Um, and maybe these other lines, I think maybe I'll do those with, uh, with color. I think I'm not gonna concentrate on those. Maybe, I kinda want to. I don't know, but let's just draw legs because here's the other thing. This is what I was talking about in the sketch. There's no picture of his legs. I have to go by screenshots, and uh, th there wasn't any. In the animation, there's no picture of his boots. What are you gonna do, you know? So, I'm gonna kinda make some up, basically. Right, um, it, and again, I'm just gonna make it simple because we still gotta do the mand appendage, right? I'm trying to think of the mandible appendage combination word. Okay, just simple boots and we'll come back and add some detail. 
because again, I don't know what they look like. And I've got him kind of flying, so his legs are just kind of dangling. Okay, let's add some detail, just a little bit. I think I am gonna do it. I think I am gonna follow through with, uh, with what I had here for the detail, just because I like it. I think it's really cool. So it's gonna come back through here, up like this. that and I tell you what we'll do I'm gonna leave the other side for uh, color because there's a, like another black line go following it I'm gonna leave that for color at least we'll just give you something to draw here to just kind of you know kind of accent the uh, style that it's got which is really cool and then now I add like some crease lines where the material is, is, is kind of pushed, wrinkled, and pushed. Uh, that's the same thing. I was about to say pushed, wrinkled, and pushed. I already used that word. I need to come up with a better one. Um, let's see. Boots, let's just do something like this. A typical strap over. Oops, I always do that. I always do like, too much. I follow through and, and draw over stuff and I shouldn't do that. I gotta be careful. Something like that. Okay, so now I can do the insert word here. <laughs> um, let's see what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna start out here because I wanna work my way back because you wanna draw what's in front first, that way when you draw what's behind, you're not accidentally drawing through that, right? So I know where it's going following my sketch, so I'm just gonna start drawing according to my sketch, okay? And again, I've sketched it out. That's why I know where I'm going with this. Okay. So one thing I always recommend is, is a good plan, like sketching it out, figure out where you're gonna go and what you're gonna do. Awesome, and that one's going back there so we can't see anything else. So I'm not too worried about detail. because it kind of, you know, takes care of itself. Let's do the other one too. But this one, this one I got pointed down, this one I got pointed up, just because of the different style, the way I've got them going. So let's do kind of the same thing. Like that, we'll have it connected by something like this. Here, so you can't really see as much. Back behind his arm. Then these two are coming out pointed like this. So, yeah, again, I want to start with a point. And I'm kind of going by the way they look, but also kind of just making it up too, because there's only so much I'm gonna be able to do. But the nice thing too is there's only so much you have to do to keep it looking the way it looks. have a little extra detail like a point that's the one thing about these sharpies they're not very sharp but also they're not really made for tiny things like this so no offense I get it sharpie Right. 
just adding extra while I can. Then I'm gonna just jump into finishing up with color. All right. All right, one more and we'll be done. Okay, so um, yeah, same thing I want in the front. detail. And there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Hank Pym Yellow Jacket from What If. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.